Hey guys, welcome back to American Truck Sam. And here we are. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've, uh, well, not not really. It's been about a week since I've showed this game off, I believe. And um, yeah, I've made a little bit of progress. Not not a whole lot. I haven't really played it that much. Um, a little bit here and there. Um, I just I play a lot of games. I have a lot of games going at once most of the time. So. But, uh, yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a look. This is, as you can see, not a custom truck or anything like that because I don't have the money to afford one of those because the ones you saw on the other streams were, of course, modded trucks that modded truck that I enjoy driving, but um, that was because I was doing quick jobs. Now I actually own my own company, which has uh, five trucks under it, including this one. They're all, uh, like, the cheapest trucks in the game. This is, like, 30 grand. Of course, I got a paint job on it. It's got the 520 horsepower uh, Cummins upgrade. Uh, they, they come with 300 horsepower um, uh, motor uh, stock. So And yeah, so I got a uh, uh, best transmission you can put in here and 520 uh, Cummins motor and it's, it's, it's a big upgrade, just those two things. I also put the same engine and transmission in my employee's truck. So I have four trucks for the employees and four employees and then myself and my truck um, and uh, yeah I do pretty good pretty good they're still kind of new so they don't earn they don't earn like a shitload of money at the moment but alright let's see what we can just pick up here oh. Well, that should have been close enough, but whatever. Uh, cars, huh? And, uh, uh, the difference in money on these are pretty, pretty big. I mean, that's... But not, I mean, the miles, you know, it's about half. Well, not even, really. It's not, it's only an extra 200 miles. So it's like a quarter longer, but, well, probably a little bit longer than that, actually. But whatever. We'll take this one. Yeah, as I said, guys, I got the sensitivity real low, um, just because, you know, controller. I am using a Xbox One controller, as I said before. Uh, let's see here. No, I do not have an Xbox One. <laughs> um, just the controller. wide there but sometimes sometimes those um uh entrances to those uh to the places where you pick stuff up at is usually really narrow and there are some where you can't come out of it that wide or you have to go uh you have to go you know like over wider than you would normally in real life it's kind of annoying but So hey, uh, my viewers, let me know down below in the comments down below um, what you guys think of the new Street Fighter. If you guys have seen it, looked into it, and if you have, what your thoughts are on it. Um, I, I'm really interested to know because um, I don't know. Like I think the art style is ugly. I really do, and it's weird because I like self shading games. Sometimes it depends, but I, I'm pretty for the most part. I don't mind self shading and things like that, but it just it has. I don't know, there's something about it, I'm not sure what it is, it's something in the art, I just think it's ugly, I really do, I, I don't think it looks good, I mean, 
the lighting and the effect of the engine, obviously it's unreal uh, engine four, so it's obviously that looks good, but like the textures on the models and stuff, and it's not because of cell shading, it's just, I don't know what it is, but I, 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 I don't think it, I don't think it looks very good to be completely honest. Um, and then of course I think it's total bullshit that it doesn't include, um, that doesn't include the arcade mode. I mean, seriously, that just, that just blows me away. But that's okay, because you know what? I'm, I've never been, I mean, I've been a fan of Street Fighter, you know, when I was a kid, you know, it was always in the arcades and, and all that good stuff. But, um, I just, I was never a huge Street Fighter fan. I always liked Mortal Kombat and Killer Instinct more. Um, I think that's because I, I um, when I left the 8-bit era, I went to the 16-bit era, I actually got a Sega Genesis instead of a, a Super Nintendo. I think that's partly why I, I like, I'm, I'm more partial to those games, to be honest. Whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe it just got up on two wheels. You guys saw that. It didn't come up much, but it definitely was on two wheels on one side. Well, more than two, obviously, but yeah. It was, one side was up in the angle, put it that way. I've taken sharper corners than that, I've never had that happen, I wonder if it's, it's because of the weight on this thing, let's see, uh, no, it's only seven, I've had a lot of, uh, heavier cargo than that, I've had like upwards of 40, 40 grand, so, that's definitely not it. I seem to change the... Oh, I didn't know you could do that. There we go. I like... Yeah, that works. I don't mess with that little menu down there much. I just leave it on stock because all I really need to see is the GPS anyway. Unless I need um, to call a uh, tow, which... You know, it's happened like once because I tipped the truck over one time. Um, and that's the thing, when you tip it over, you know, it's not like a GTA or anything. You can't just tip it back over, you know, like like you can in those games. You actually have to press F7 and uh, hit uh, enter to call for a tow truck. They come and get you. It does consume time. It does consume time, though. So, like, if you're on a trip, uh, don't do it unless you have to. Cause it's going to waste three hours of that. You're gonna be three. Oh no, no! Oh man, I can't believe that too. And I was just fucking talking about that. <laughs> like, what in the world? Oh man, I can't believe I just did that. Oh man, luckily, um, it's weird. You know, luckily I I don't have damage on. I have damage on weird thing is though is that um, even though I have a damage mod my tires get damaged for some reason see if you look down there on the icon you can see a little truck you can see the little bit of red on the wheels that's a damage meter the truck won't get damaged but the tires do if I tip over it's weird um, but what really counts is that the trailer won't um, uh, pick up any damage from that accident because of the damage mod so that means I'll still get an excellent rating when I deliver it well probably won't because I'll be a little bit late now but but I won't um, I won't get the duck for the damage so that's good at least and I won't lose experience for it either but I will lose I won't get as much experience because I think I'm going to be a little late now since that just you know took two hours out of the fucking uh, I can't believe I did that here I am sitting talking about fucking don't tip over your truck and I'm not paying attention because I'm talking and I didn't realize I was going too fast to that corner and yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well that's the second time I've tipped an American truck simulator. I don't know how many times I tipped in European truck simulator too, probably like freaking probably like twenty times. But in that game, I had the realistic, I don't know if it's out for this, I haven't really been looking at a lot of mods, but um, I'm going to give it more time.
to kind of get flushed out and everything, but, um, yeah, I had the, uh, realis realistic physics mod for, uh, uh, European Truck Sim 2, and, uh, it made it tip over, like, extremely easy, like, way easier than it can now. So I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I, I'm not getting really any comments on most of them for the most part. I have gotten a couple of spam uh, comments, like a couple of channels who met, will message me and just say things like, oh, I love your video, it's really great, you go check out mine, and then like, but they supposedly love it, right? But I check um, my likes for the video, like they don't like it, I don't subscribe. So, you know, it's like, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if, if you're one of those spam channels who goes to new YouTube channels and tries to spruce, um, uh, uh, make them feel good about telling them how good the video is when you probably don't feel that way and then want them to go look at your video but you don't give them a like or a subscribe, um, that's an issue for me. I, I will go check out your video but I need a like and a subscribe before I do that because otherwise you're full of shit. So. And you can be full of shit all you want as long as you give me that like and subscribe or really care less at that point. <laughs> yeah, right right now guys, all the comments, all all the activity that you guys can give me would, would be great. Like any you know, feedback's fine too. Negative feedback is good too as long as it's constructive, you know, then, then I'm more than open to that. But um, anything you know, any any kind of uh, activity would be nice. Likes, comments, um, you know, all that good stuff. It really it doesn't make that big of a difference when you're when you're when you have like five or ten thousand subscribers, but when you when you literally only have eight like I do, um, it really 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 makes a difference in getting the channel um, seen by more people. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop for a um, way station checkup. That's okay. They'll deduct a hundred bucks on me. I think it's a hundred dollars. It might be a thousand. I don't care. I would have done it. But um, since I already wasted two and a half hours on that tow, I can't I can't waste any more time because I'm already going to be late. She so looked 412 miles, but ten in ten hours, so it's just um, it's going to be tight. I might be able to make it if I can get um, if I can keep my speed up for as long as possible. Like if I can just cruise at max speed, that would be great. And um, just so you guys know, um, I am looking into some better microphone options here because I know, I know, trust me, I'm fully aware, <laughs> I have ears too, and uh, I'm fully aware that um, the microphone situation here is um, not, not going to be good enough to sustain any kind of audience. So for the current subscribers, I just want you guys to know that um, that's definitely going to be improving soon. And it's only going to be improving because of you guys. Um, you know, I know it's only eight people, but um, I feel like it's worth it to uh, to provide you guys better uh, quality videos, and at the same time, um, you know, maybe grab some more subscribers or whatever because of it. I, I don't know what I'm going to get though. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not real big on headsets. Like, I, I headphones are okay, especially nowadays with all the technology. Headphones kick ass. But the thing is, I don't. I'm, I don't really like wearing headphones. I, I don't. I mean, it's not that you know. I just. I mean, it could be like you know. It's not the comfortability or anything like that. It's just. I don't. I don't know. There's just something about it. I've never really been into it. Um, it seems like a lot of people are these days, though. A lot of people are these days, and that's fine. But that's the thing. So I don't really want a headset. Um, that's, I'm looking at desk mics, and I'm looking between right now either between the Blue Yeti or the Razer, uh, the new Razer desk mic that, mic that they just made. That made well, not just made, but it's still pretty recent. Um, that they just uh, recently released uh, to compete with the Blue Yeti. Um, I don't know if I'd go Razer though, because I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge Razer fan. Uh, actually, I'm not really a Razer fan at all. 
Um, that doesn't mean that if I thought that they had a good, uh, actual good product worth their price point in their catalog that I wouldn't consider picking it up. At this point in time, the only one that may be, that may fit that um, description would be maybe their uh, desk uh, microphone at the moment. Um, but I'm not so quite sure about that because I've seen a lot of uh, bigger YouTubers that I really like uh, that have reviewed it, uh, Linus Tech Tips and um, uh, I can't remember the name of the other one, but yeah, I've seen a few and um, they don't seem that great, especially since Linus Tech Tips, they actually did their podcast with it for uh, a couple weeks and they had nothing, I mean nothing but problems with it. They kept having to turn it on and back, turn it off and back on because the sound would just drop out and stop working or it would start crackling and popping. And it seems like the cord, you know, and maybe because I know Razer has, um, doesn't have the best quality control. And that's the main problem with Razer is they, they make decent products. There's actually nothing wrong with the products. It's just the only two issues are one, they're way overpriced. And two, they don't have, um, uh, any, like they don't have that great quality control. Sorry, I didn't mean to say any, but they don't have, they do have quality control, obviously, but it's not as good as it could be. Because that's that's why sometimes you know you can get a great product from Razer that lasts and has no problems, but then you know you can turn around and buy something else from them the next day, and, and you know it might have issues, nothing but issues. So I'm not really sure. The Blue Yeti is stable from what I've seen. You know, I mean all the YouTube, like most of the bigger YouTube's all YouTuber channels all started out with uh, Blue Yeti. A lot of them did, and they they swear by it. A lot of live streamers uh, use Blue Yetis because they don't need anything. You know, I mean, because honestly, you know, you see those people with the two, three hundred dollar microphones that are attached to those big metal arms that move around the desk, and it's like attached behind the monitor, and it like, and then it like comes down and hangs over the monitor. First of all, that would drive me fucking nuts because this, I'm, I don't have a fucking. This isn't a radio, but you know, this is not a radio. It's not a studio, anything like that. And I, I get why they do it. It's, it's because you know, you get the best audio quality with the setup like that. And of course you get, um, it's a desk mic, but at the same time, you know, it's super easy to move around and angle and it's not taking up desk space like in front, you know, things like that. I get that. But for me, it would drive me nuts. I don't want anything hanging over the monitor, you know, and blocking, blocking the view of it. And I don't want, like, I don't know, it just, that's not for me. And I don't need anything like that. You know, I'm just making basic YouTube videos. I really don't think those people necessarily need me either. Um, but, okay, like some of them do, like Jay's Two Cents and Linus, you know, they need, like, top-end microphone stuff, right? Jay's Two Cents does, too, because, you know, I mean, his, um, he, he just does really, 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 really good videos. And, uh, you know, having that, uh, audio quality that he has just, you know, makes it that much better. Um, but then I get, I think, like, the live streamers are the ones who kind of go overboard with the setup like that. They don't really need anything like that. If you're just a pure live streamer, or if all you do is just play games, whether you live stream them or not, you know, if you just straight up play games and that's all you do on your channel, you're wasting money by buying, uh, like, a high-end microphone setup. Because if you get a basic mixer and, like, a, and, a, and, a, and a tabletop mic, like the Blue Yeti, which is, like, a semi-professional microphone, and you plug it into a basic mixer, you know, it doesn't have to be anything expensive, just a basic mixer, you're going to get, you know, great sound quality. I mean, it's going to be pretty dang nice. I mean, it's not going to be, like, uh, studio quality, but it's going to be pretty... It's going to be probably better than you need for what you're doing. And uh, and that's fine, you know, but you're not spending an outrageous amount of money on it either because Blue Yeti is about 100 bucks, and then you can get, like, a decent mixer, like, well, actually, like, a little basic mixer for, you know, 80 bucks. I haven't really looked into those little micro mixers yet, but um, I don't, and that's the other thing, is I don't have a lot of desk space, which is crazy because I do and I don't. I have a 7 foot long desk um, that's 36 inches deep, but it's not, um, I have so much stuff on it already, uh, you know, like my computer takes up a big chunk of it, my two monitors, my speakers, my cell phone, charger, plus stand, um, uh, just everything. I mean, and then a bunch of main miscellaneous stuff. I don't really have room for a mixer anywhere, but uh, I could guess I could squeeze it in somewhere.
All right, guys, I had to check something out for a second. Sorry about that. No, I wasn't looking at mixers. <laughs> I kind of want to now though, because I'm curious to see what they would run. Maybe once I make this delivery, I'll go ahead and do it. And if you guys want to just fast forward through that part, or maybe I'll cut it out or something. Yeah, the only mods I've really done in this game are like um, mostly. Um, well, I put in a mod. Uh, I put in a truck. And then I put in a bunch of AI vehicles, like uh, probably four or five AI vehicles, including the motorcycle. And there's one now. Oh, oh, I'm glad I looked at the map. I always do that. And I say that in like every single one of these videos. Holy crap, I did not realize I needed gas that bad. I just looked and my gas light was on on the dash, or not on the dash, but on the um, navigation screen or whatever. Which is kind of weird, but... Well, uh, I hope there's a gas station soon somewhere, because if there's not, then that's another fucking two hours for tow, or whatever it may be, but... I wasn't paying attention, that always happens to me. I'm still getting used to, like, talking while I'm recording to you guys. Talking to you guys while I'm recording, and, um trying to pay attention at the same time. It's hard. It really is hard. Kidding me? Well, we're definitely not making this thing on time. <laughs> we wasted so much fucking time. Come on! Oh my god! This this video has just gone complete fucking shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, at least maybe if anything, it would make it more entertaining for you guys that you know this is happening. But oh my god! What is he getting stuck on? I don't see it. Like, what the fuck is the problem? I thought it was... Oh, Jesus Christ. 
realized, okay, this has just gotten really bad now, guys. I may just have to cut this part out. Oh, man. Thank you. Good lord. That was just ridiculous. I don't know what the fuck it was getting stuck on. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. What in the world? I think a car hit me, like sideswipe me or something. That was fucking weird. I wasn't looking in the rear view mirror, but like. Oh, look, tumbleweeds. <laughs> There's more. I think they kind of overdo it with that. I see them quite often on the desert roads. Yeah, see there's some in the distance. Come on, truck. You do have 520 horsepower with a fucking nice transmission. Let's go. That's an ugly ass house, look at that. Ugh. Sorry guys, when you see me do that and I just like veer off towards the corner like that or like this, it's probably because I'm hitting my uh, box mod. Uh, I vape, so, um, yeah, when you see me do that, or like, you know, just like it looks like I'm not, like, like, uh, in control of the vehicle, it's because I took my left hand off the controller and picked up the, uh, the box line. Uh, and as I've said in other vehicles, or other videos in this game, vehicles, why the fuck did I say that, um, um, I don't play this like a complete sim, you know, I run red lights, and I don't work both ways, blah, 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 I could, but, um, and I did when I first started playing it, of course, um, but then I got impatient with it. <laughs> I mean, because it's a game, really, so, I mean, what, what's gonna, what, what's the worst thing that, you know? Who really cares? That's how I play it, if you don't like it, that's too bad. Are you gonna turn, dude? He was probably waiting for driving. Oh, now he goes. Well, I'm actually surprised that it's still, we still have three minutes or a mile. I'm really surprised. I don't understand this game sometimes because, like, Sometimes you fuck up and you're like way, you know, hours and hours behind schedule, but you still barely make it. And then sometimes, you know, you like, you haul ass and you do a perfect run. You're doing like 80, you know, you're doing like max speed, like 75% of the way there. You don't hit anything. You don't mess up. You, it's like perfect run and you still barely make it. It always seems the same. It's like, it's weird. It's the same thing with European Truck Simulator too. It was like, you always see like you're barely making it no matter what you know and, and that doesn't make sense like if i do a perfect trip and i barely make it 
then how do I still barely make it when I lose like three hours of, of, of time, you know, by uh, fucking up and, and, and whatnot? That makes absolutely no sense. Like, I should be like a couple hours late, at least. But I won't complain too much because, hey, at least I didn't lose anything. Alright, let's see here. Um... Should I do long distance or more fragile cargo? Rank 4 is a uh, higher reward. Eh. Oh, so I'm on rank 5 though. It's all this. Eh. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, well this is normally where you would drive back um, home or to wherever, but um... First of all, I actually want to see what these guys are doing. As I said, these are kind of noob drivers, so... Especially these guys, I think, well, I'm not sure, but, yeah, um, so we go here, and, uh, just, uh, you can quick travel to the garage, it's kind of convoluted, like, the way you have to do it, there should just be one quick travel button in the main, uh, garage thing, and then you should just click on the first, and that should be it, it's a little, it's a little funky. It was the same way in the uh, other games, too. It was a little funky the way you gotta do it. In the other games, I didn't... It took me a long time to realize that you could actually do that. Alright, so now that we're here... Um, uh, I don't need any gas. I'm fine. Okay, um, I don't need that either. Let's see... What time is it, guys? Okay. So, we'll do this, of course. And... I've unlocked pretty much everywhere. I only have Oakdale and uh, Fresno to unlock. Basically just means that you've traveled to all these places. Um, it takes a while to get them all unlocked, but... Um, it's kind of a small map right now, of course, you know, of course they're going to be um, updating it, but, um, yeah, for right now it's pretty small. Well, when you first start playing, it doesn't seem small, and it's really not that small, but, um, once you pretty much recover all the places and you've driven on most of the roads more than once, it gets to be, uh, you start wanting more content. Oh wow, uh, that's pretty far. No, I don't want to fall apart again.
Yeah, I'm looking for that button. Uh, there's somewhere around here in your garage somewhere where you can upgrade your garage so that you can um, have more room for more. Um, I don't see it though. It's like usually up here somewhere. Uh, but I'm not seeing... If anyone wants to give me a tip and tell me where that is uh, to the button up play great garage, that would be great. Because I know where it is, but I've done it before, obviously. Um, and I have four, a four truck garage now, but um, you can only start off with two trucks. Well, no, plus mine's way bigger than when you start off with two. Um, and it looks way better, but I don't know. I forget where that is. Shit. Oh, well. Uh, not long enough. See, I don't like doing the real short jobs like these, uh, like 39 miles, like 30, you know, that's just stupid. Um, it really, that really is stupid. That's for like people just starting out. Actually, because I don't want to drive anywhere, we'll just do one of them. No, that's too short. 46,000 pounds. Okay. We'll do a heavy load. Why not? Well, and this is how it works when you guys do, um, when you guys stop doing, uh, the quick jobs for other companies, and you actually start doing your own company, you basically have to drive your truck to the pickup, and then back in, pick it up like you saw earlier, because I was already there, and then, um, back, like I said, back in and pick it up and attach it. Oh, damn. Sorry, BMW. That was one of the modern cars. For the AI that I put in, uh, just kind of gives you more variety. That Mustang's one of them too. Yeah, we'll do this one. Why not? Yeah, see, there's the trailer. So we just told them that we were here to pick it up. Okay, before we attach it, because once we attach it, uh, as soon as you attach the trailer, the job actually starts, and the time starts ticking down. So you, once you attach it, you pretty much have to get your ass in gear and go. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the cab. Like I said, this is an old school truck from the '80s, which I, I think it looks really good. I, I really um, oops, uh, there we go. I think it looks awesome. I love the rivets on everything. Uh, makes it look really industrial, and it just it just looks like a beast. I, I really the only thing I don't like about it is that if you go into cab view, you can see here that your mirrors are way way over here. So in order to have them in the view, you'd be looking like this at at a pretty extreme angle, and that doesn't work for me. I don't like that. I don't like that angle from the front windshield and everything. It kind of throws you off. So what I do is I just use you see the little tiny mirrors out in the front. Um, I use I use the left one for the left view, and then of course I have um, uh, a window open inside the cab that uh, that you can do in the game settings to acts as a uh, as a mirror for the right side. So that way you don't have to do this to look at it every time. But yeah, I think it's a pretty sweet truck. I like it a lot. probably my favorite truck in the game. There aren't a lot of trucks in the game unless you 
uh, import them into the game yourself from the previous games. You can put all the ones in here if you want. But I'm good. I don't need a lot of truck selections. I don't need to buy, you know, 20 truck trucks for my my personal truck. I just need just one truck. I might upgrade at some point. I probably will. Um, once I unlock the 700 horsepower coming, I will probably sell this and buy something a little bit more modern and put that in it. Um, but for now, I think this truck is bad. I'm just taking a break for a second, guys, before we start this uh, other trip. We better turn this truck off for now. Yeah, if you don't want to see this, you can just fast forward it a couple minutes. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'm just vaping some before I start going. Do you guys know what the damage to the tire does? does like what that affects like does it affect your speed or or what what does it affect necessarily because um yeah i don't know what it affects like when you have damage to the tires in this game all right uh, one more second, guys. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, so, uh, we will get going here. And this will probably be the last trip we do for this video. So, let's do it. Alright, so now we are pulling this heavy ass bulldozer. And we knocked over their sign. Oh, we tipped it, we bent it back, but it didn't knock over the clue. That's cool. I didn't know that. I thought, you know, this game was just kind of real basic physics. If you hit it, it would just fall over, but apparently not so much. It bent over, but it didn't fall over the clue. That's cool. Actually, that, that that would be cool, huh? I have it turned on zero uh, for probability, rain probability, but um, turn it all the way up, and it should start raining soon. It'll take usually like a couple minutes once you, from the time that you put it all the way up to the time that it starts raining. We're just gonna go ahead and turn these on uh, before it starts because we like to be ready. We know it's coming. These poor people don't know what's coming, but we do. Oh, and here it comes. Now, since we turn the slider all the way up, it will probably start storming. Right now, it's just lightly, uh, lightly raining, but. There we go, now it's storming. See, I told you. Oh, you guys see the lightning?
Whoa. <laughs> Glad there was no one on the side over there. We're just gonna pass you on the shoulder. Because we're gangster like that. My horns are always delayed because I don't have uh, I don't have a horn. I need to attach one of the buttons on the controller to for the horn. Right now it's just eight on the keyboard, so I have to take my hand um, the one that I use to steer with on the controller, like I do, or like I would if I was uh, hitting my box mod so that I can mod the horn. So I can't usually do it until once I pass them. But otherwise, you know, it might be nice. So yeah, this motor and this transmission are having no problem doing the thing at max speed with no hit downhill or anything to get up to speed or nothing. It took a little bit longer, but it wasn't that bad. Actually, I've seen a lot worse. The stock motor in this car is insanely slow. Uh, I mean, truck. Why the fuck did I say car? Um, it's not bad if you don't have anything attached to it or if you have a light load like 15, 20,000, but so I actually carried a, uh, I actually towed a uh, bulldozer with the stock uh, version of this truck, the stock transmission motor, and it was absolutely horrible. I mean, it, I mean, I could only get it to about 65, and that took like a couple miles straight away to do it. <laughs> and don't get me started on hills or anything like that. Yeah, like the second, the second I was high enough level to put the 500 horse. I, I jumped on it, and I, like I said, I did it to the other trucks too because I don't want their, you know, because the faster, the more powerful their trucks are, then the faster they can get their delivery done. So I mean, it's a good investment.
But yeah, guys, like I said, you know, I mean, if you have any constructive uh, ideas about, you know, maybe things I can improve, and like I said, don't mention the microphone, because yes, I know I have ears, so and that's coming. Um, trust me, that's, that's um, you know, no one needs to say anything about that, because that's something I want to personally improve, because uh, I'm not proud of the audio quality either myself, so don't worry about that. That's coming. But anything else, like, you know, if you guys uh, have suggestions for software or uh, plugins for OBS or uh, anything that, you know, that you may know that I don't that would be helpful for me or my channel um, or would improve things for my viewers or even me, uh, that would be, you know, really helpful and appreciated. Now, I encode in H.264. I don't use the NVIDIA encoder because that uses GPU, um, and I have a 980 Ti, I want all my GPU to go to my game, not, not, I don't want some of it to be used while I'm doing this stuff, but I have a 6-core i7-5930K, as mentioned in previous videos, and, um, so I have plenty of CPU to go around, where, you know, um, I have plenty, I have a lot of GPU to go around too, but, again, since I have 6 cores, I would rather the, uh, the software use my CPU to encode not um, uh, and not my GPU in this case. Now, if I had two GPUs, then I wouldn't really care either way. But but I have plenty of CPU to spare. So and that's you know the people were like, well, why would you spend you know six hundred you know sixty dollars on a six four when you get uh, you know which is a fifth gen when you get a sixth gen i seven four four for like you know four hundred ish. I'm like. Well, because for what I do, I, I want, I think six cores makes more sense. I mean, you know, I, I do a lot of multitasking, you know, I run a lot of things, and, um, um, and that's the thing, because they'd be like, oh, well, games, you know, what are you going to, games aren't encoded to you, and I'm like, well, who says I'm just a gamer, you know, what, who says I don't fucking use things like Lumion Pro and make 3D scenes that can use as much, you know, if you had 20 cores, it would consume 20 cores, and it would be that much faster, and that much easier to render, and so on and so forth, so, um, I do a lot of 3D stuff, not a lot, but I do do some 3D stuff, I do, um, a lot of Photoshop, uh, I do some rendering, of course, and maybe in other 3D programs, um, I, and then on top of that, I just do, like, a lot of off testing too, and, uh, so it's not, I didn't get it because of games, I mean, I know games aren't going to use the other two cores, they will in the future, though, because this year, they actually, there are a few games coming out that are going to utilize um, all. Uh, they're going to utilize up to eight, so they're going to start utilizing more cores now. Um, they're going to go past four, or at least some of them, and that will, just like you know, everyone complained in the beginning when, when quad cores came out. You don't need quad core because games don't utilize quad core, and blah 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 blah. Well, they did like a year and a half later, and then people who, you know, decide to get a dual core or quad, you know, were crying because they made the wrong decision. Uh, it's the same thing when I bought my um, uh, my last build that I did. I got a uh, 770, they were new, and I got an EVGA 770, but I got the 4 gig. Now the 2 gig version was a pretty good price. 4 gig was like $400, it, like four, I think I spent like 418 or like 422, something like that on it. And it was oh, about a, it was a hundred dollars more just for the extra two gigs, and and everyone was saying, oh, you don't need that, you know, just get the two gigs, it's a waste of money, no games. And I'm like, well, yeah, no games right now really utilize it, but I was like, give it six months, and they're like, oh no, you don't know what you're talking about, blah 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 blah. blah. And sure enough, six months came along, and games started utilizing more than fucking two gigs, and um, they were utilizing three, three and a half, four gigs all of a sudden, you know, and so it sucks for those people. So, same thing with the 6 core, in a year or two, um, most games will probably utilize all 6 cores, I would imagine, but even if they don't, it, it still makes sense for me, um, I won't for what I do. Anyway guys, that was a good run, that was a good run, uh, we didn't lose anything there, uh, that was good. And, uh, yeah, I'm almost at 200 grand, that's nice. I actually haven't, because every time, like, when I got to 100, like, here's, here's what I did, was, I didn't take out a loan, I didn't do anything, I started the game up, and all I did was quick jobs, 
That's all I did. No loan, no help, no nothing. I did quick jobs over and over and over again until I got to 120 grand. Then when I got to 120 grand, I bought a garage, or actually, we, you already have a garage, so, or whatever. I got a garage. Um, I bought a truck for me, two other trucks, and hired two employees. And then I did that, and then I kept it like that until I, again I reached 120 grand again. And when I did that, I bought two more trucks and two more, and hired two more employees, and upgraded the um, upgraded the garage twice actually. Um, and then that's where I am now, and I'm just waiting. But I I I want to I want to upgrade it again, so I just forget how to get to that menu. Uh, let me see. I'll, I'll try it again. This video is probably going to be way too long, but whatever. I don't really care. I'm one of those YouTubers that doesn't really care if their video is long or not. I mean, I don't want it to be two or three hours long, you know. Because um, uh, a lot of YouTubers are so um, they're so worried about. Uh, you know, oh, it can't be more than 25 minutes or 30 minutes, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, guys, I can't figure it out right now. I don't know how to get to the place where you upgrade your garage. Um, sorry. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, go ahead and uh, click down below and subscribe, please. Like, comment. It all helps. It makes a big difference. And I'll see you guys in the next one.